Welcome back everyone. So there are some times when we are stuck with a slow internet connection and don't know really what to do next. And in order to speed up the internet using the command prompt, we have to use some of its building tricks. And that exactly what I will be sharing some of the best command prompt command to speed up your internet connection speed. So without any delay, let's quickly get started. So the very first thing that you can do, you can check your internet connection speed by sending the ping packet to your default gateway. So in order to bring up the command prompt, click on your Windows search, type CMD, right click on the command prompt, click run as admin so that you should have all the permission to run the command. So in order to find the default gateway, you will have to type ipconfig space forward slash dash all and hit the enter key. Now it will display all the IP detail about all your adapter connected on the device. So you will have to look for the one uh, for which you want to check the speed. So on my end, I'm connected with the Ethernet connection adapter and this is the one I'm looking for. So here you have to look for the default gateway and here it is. So my default gateway IP is this one. So what I can do, I have to make a note of it or I can just copy it. Now in case if you're not sure about the default gateway, so basically it's a kind of IP from the ISP from where you are getting your internet connection. All right, now what you have to do? To ping this gateway, you will have to type a simple command that will be ping space dash t space. Now you have to type that particular IP of the default gateway. So type it. So my is 192.168. So once you are done, now hit the enter key. And now it will be getting the reply. It will be showing you the ping here. Now at first you have to look for the reply and if you are getting the continuous reply that means that there is not any kind of disconnection and you are getting the constant internet connectivity between uh, your device and between the router. Next you have to look for the time here and the time field value will show you the time taken to get an acknowledgement from the gateway. So the lower the time will be that means you are getting the proper internet connection speed and on my end you can see I am getting only 1 ms. So that seems to be excellent. But if you have 2 MS, 3 or more than that, in that case, you will have to contact your internet service provider and let them know that you're not getting the proper internet connectivity speed from the router or from their ISPN. So this command can be really useful for you in order to troubleshoot and find out the information about your connectivity. And now the next command is the release and the renew. And this command will help the Wi-Fi user where they can temporarily boost their Wi-Fi speed just typing a simple command that will be ipconfig space for a slash release and once released you have to type another command that will be ipconfig space for a slash radio now as I'm connected with the LAN connection so it won't be working here as I said this command is only for the Wi-Fi user so if you're using the Wi-Fi and having the slow internet connection speed or you want to boost the internet speed, then you can use this command quickly in order to boost your Wi-Fi speed. So exactly what this command will be doing, this will be releasing your current assigned IP address and then when you run the renew command, it will assign a new IP address to your network so that everything can be refreshed. And so we have the next command by the name flush DNS. Now generally a device stores the list of the website and their IP address that we access mostly in the DNS resolver cache. Now DNS is a domain name system and convert IP to host and host to IP address. And you can flush these DNS cache list by typing a simple command that will be ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS. Now once you run this command, now for a meanwhile you may have the slow internet connectivity or the loading of the page but after some time you will find that the response time has been increased and the website's opening and the loading time has also been boosted. So very useful command that you can run and even it helped to fix many kind of problem with the internet as well. And now next we will be speeding up the internet using the NESH INT TCP command. So type another command that will be NETSH space interface space tcp space show space global and once you hit the enter key now here you have to look for a value by the name receive windows auto tuning level and you have to assure that its value has been selected to normal now many of you might find this to normal 
and many of you not then what you have to assure if it's not being selected to normal then you have to type another command nadsh space int space tcp space set space global space auto tuning level equal sign and then type normal now once you hit the enter key you will be getting a message by the name ok and the next time when you run this command again you will find that the receive windows auto tuning level has been set to normal so now you might have a question that what exactly it means when we are setting the receive windows auto tuning level to the normal now this command will set your tcp receive window to the normal from the disable or the restricted state so the tcp receive window is one of the key factor in the internet downloading speed and making the tcp receive window to the normal will surely help you to increase your internet speed when it's been changed from disable or restricted okay so always make sure that set the windows auto tuning level to normal so that you can get the better downloading speed and the internet connectivity and so on you have to type another command here that will be NATSH space interface space TCP space show heuristic HEU RIS TICS and this time if you hit the enter key now here you have to look for windows scaling heuristics and assure that it's been selected to disable because if it's been enabled then Microsoft in some ways will be trying to limit your internet connection speed and in order to bypass this and get unrestricted internet you have to make sure it's been selected to disable but in case if it's been enabled on your end then you can type a simple command that will be natsh space interface space tcp space set heuristics space disable and once you hit the enter key again it will show you ok and the next time when you run the same command of nets interface tcp show heuristics you will find the scaling heuristics has been disabled and now let's move to the last command where you can boost the streaming speed by disabling the throttling so if you enjoy the good speed generally but are struggling to get the same experience during the streaming then your isp might be the reason now many isp provider they uh, set any kind of limitation or any kind of restriction on such kind of services like streaming and in order to overcome this you will need to add a firewall rule to copy the command and paste it and this is the command that you have to paste here now once it's been done you will be getting the message of ok so now you are done with all the command from tweak and now you can go ahead and restart the computer to find the changes and after that let me know in the comment section guys did you find any improvement or not and hopefully you found this video useful guys and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video bye bye